let me ask you something. Where do you think that the English language comes from? Could it be England? Or some people might say Britain? Or do you think the English language comes from somewhere else outside of England? Perhaps uh, Scandinavia or something like that? Well, if you're not sure, that's why I'm uploading this particular episode today of Germany. Some things you probably don't know. It's um, really interesting, the information that you'll find when you look up where English comes from. And since I've been speaking English for well over 40 years, 45 years or something like that, I wanted to uh, let you know where the English language's roots come from. For instance, German is the second most commonly spoken dramatic language because the number one most commonly spoken dramatic language is English. And yes, dramatic has to do with Germany or of Germany. And both languages are closely related linguistic siblings. English is the third most common native language in the world behind Spanish at number two and Mandarin Chinese at the number one most common native language. English and German both belong to the Germanic branch of the Indo-European language family. Also, you'll find when you research that because they are so closely related, they share many features. And by the way, with the word Germanic, well, that was a word that was coined by the Romans who occupied Germany for many, many centuries. You see, contrary to the widely accepted belief, as far as my research on this issue goes, Dramatic does also pertain to the German people. And even before Germany was called Deutschland, the country was also known before that as Germania. And I think it's commonly believed by most people that the English language comes from England. But that's not accurate and that's not true. The English language origins is actually Germanic. And the word Germanic means tribes of people who were an ethno-linguistic group of Northern European origins and identified in modern day scholarship as speakers, at least for the most part, of early Germanic languages. Old English, which transformed into today's modern English, was one of those languages. Again, English does not originate from England. It finds its roots in Northern Europe, which today arguably is mostly in Germany and a bit of the country we call the Netherlands or Holland. This area is along the Northern Sea and was back then inhabited by the Frisian people. And yeah, even up until today, these people live in that same region called Frisia. Their language Frisian is said to be the most like English in comparison. Now, as far as the English language getting it across the North Sea to the land of England, According to history, this happened because the Frisians, the Saxons, also known as the Anglo-Saxons, the Jutes, and others from continental Europe, who were all from dramatic tribes, invaded Britain in the 5th century, settling in the regions known as Kent and the Isles of Wight. By the way, the 5th century is the time period between 401 AD to 500 AD. So with that in mind, I'd like to give you an example of the relationship of German and English so you can see 
how tightly woven the history actually is, even though the language has changed quite substantially since back in the day. Here are some German words that are used in English today. And of course there's Latin, and of course there's Spanish and French that's been added. But the roots of English are Germanic and therefore are mostly from Germany. The German word Bretzel, spelled B-R-E-Z-E-L, is the English word pretzel, spelled P-R-E-T-Z-E-L. Other German words we use in English are Hallo. Germans say Hallo, H-A-L-L-O. In English, we say Hello, H-E-L-L-O. As well as the word Knee. In English, spelled K-N-E-E. -E. And in German, it's spelled K-N-I-E. -E. Moreover, we have the word Lager. Doppelganger, Fest, Gesundheit, which many Americans actually say, or English speakers actually say Gesundheit instead of Gesundheit. We also have Kindergarten, the word Kaputt, which means when something is broken and not working correctly, the word Auto, A-U-T-O, which is, for example, used in the German word Autobahn, which is their freeway equivalent. The word Uber, spelled U-B-E-R. The word Gestapo, Kaiser, as in Kaiser Permanente which is a hospital branch or hospital chain that is popular in California. Beer, spelled in English B-E-E-R and in German spelled B-I-E-R. And we have the word Wiener, spelled W-I-E-N-E-R, like Oscar Mayer Wiener. The word Frankfurter, also the word hamburger. A hamburger is something that is arguably, by the way, from Germany because of the city Hamburg, which is in northern Germany. And for those who live in the city of Hamburg, they are called hamburgers. <laughs> Just like those who live in Frankfurt, Germany, are called Frankfurters. Another word is strudel, spelled S T R U D E L. And spritzer? What about schnitzel, schnapps, and sauerkraut? Those were about 20 something words that hopefully show you how intertwined. German and English is. Yeah, so I thought that was very interesting. This information that I found out about the English language actually being from continental Europe and not England, as I thought probably ever since I was in elementary school. But that's not the truth. English is a dramatic language. My name is Otis Q. Pate, here on Frankfurt Alumni Video. Thank you for stopping by.